All right, Coach, um, you know, uh, game tonight was canceled, but you did put together a, a blue, white inner squad scrimmage. Just talk about what you saw tonight with the team. Well, I thought there were some good things. Obviously, we, I mean, this team needs, you know, needs games. And, um, you know, we're, I've said all along, we're a work in progress. Um, you know, not having any August and September and, you know, only having very limited time uh, for a practice court in Lafayette. I mean, we're behind. So it was good to actually just come out and, you uh, and play in front of the lights and have referees and those things. So, um, you know, I'm pleased. I thought we, you know, I thought we got better today, and that was my my number one objective of having this is to to get guys experience and um, and to get better. And I think we 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 did both of those things. And because you're playing against each other, you, you, those guys saw a lot of minutes as well. So oh yeah. How does that help get prepared for, especially with you not having a preseason, get prepared for you know coming the coming season. I think it was great. I mean, you know, just uh, I think we divided the teams up as evenly as we could, and um, you know, I wanted to try to have it as, as much of a, a game-like experience as we possibly could. Uh, I thought, you know, guys, you know, just being, you know, the popcorn was popping, and the referees were there, and the scoreboard was on, and you know, all those things. It just takes you got to get used to it, and uh, not having, you know, the ability to play a lot of games, let alone scrimmages. And for us, you know, we're still fine-tuning some a lot of the basics that. Um, on both sides of the ball that, uh, you know, just because just we're a little bit behind. But we're going to, you know, we'll catch up, and I'm excited about where we're at. We've got a long way to go, but uh, I was encouraged tonight. I thought we had some really good efforts, and, uh, and some guys did a really good job, and some things we need to continue to work on. You continue to learn about your team when you, when, uh, when you have these type of situations, and that's really a positive for me, too. What were some of the things that really stood out to you tonight, if you can just off the top of your head? Um, you know, I think that... Uh, I think we have a lot of depth at the guard line. You know, I think Zach Scott came in and, and, and really played some great minutes. Uh, I thought it was great for Braylon Bush to to play a ton of minutes. Um, you know, I think that you know uh, Drew Drew you know kind of got banged up a little bit. Um, but I, I think the positives. I think that you know we do have some depth. Um, you know, at the guard line, and I think that you know we have four post guys that can play as well. So I, I like our numbers. I mean, I, I think that. You know, again, we're a work in progress. We got to really fine tune our identity on both sides of the ball. But um, you know, we're we're getting to it, and I uh, I think we made a big step tonight. Coach, this could be just because you know, even though it was between you two, there's still going to be like game jitters. And sure. Be excited, fans were there and everything, but your team played pretty fast tonight. Okay, mm -hmm. and with the shot clock, there were some possessions where it was like they were shooting with five seconds into the shot clock. So how important are you sh exactly, you know, you have to use that to your advantage. Sure. You've got to be patient. You've got to wait right. for that open look, you know, even if there is five seconds left on the clock. But mm -hmm. how important is it for you to just stress that to them? Because I saw it towards the end, it was like they were using it a little bit more. So was that being said? For sure, you know we want to play with a little bit of a pace offensively, um, you know. But just fine tuning what is, you know. There's sometimes there's it's a really good shot in the first, you know, five ten seconds of the shot clock. Sometimes it's in the last five. You know what's a good shot for Drew might not be the same good shot for Rayshon, and you know, and vice versa. So just understanding everyone's game and understanding the uh, the pluses and minuses of everyone and. Um, but I think that, you know, you don't really learn those things until you actually play in games. I mean, you can stress it all you want in practice, but you got to, you know, you got to have the lights and the officials and the crowd. And uh, we were able to do that tonight. And um, I, I thought it was a positive. I mean, we're very disappointed we didn't get a chance to play someone else because I know our guys are tired of playing each other. But it was a different type of environment. Um, and that was a really good thing. It was a positive. Carlos Rosario. I mean, I, I enjoyed watching him tonight. I like the way he plays. What do you think? I knew that he was somebody that you're going to be relying on this season. How do you like his play tonight? You know, I like Carlos a lot. You know, I think that, uh, you know, he's a big physical kid. He's continuing to grow and get better. Um, but the thing about Carlos is that he's able, I mean, it, it, he makes contested layups. And as simple as that sounds, um, when you're a big guy and you can make contested layups, it's, it's very advantageous. It's good for the team. Um, he can make contested layups. Um, he is a very self-aware player. He knows what he is. He knows what he isn't. Um, his pick and roll coverage has gotten better and better. It was all new to him when he got here. But, you know, he comes every day with a great attitude and a great work ethic. And, um, you know, I've said all along, when you, when you look at, you know, like everyone talks about Shamarcus and Roydell from last year, well, those guys were kind of finished products. You know, when you go back and look at early in, in Shamarcus's career, um, 
you know, he wasn't putting up, you know, 30 points in an inner squad scrimmage. So uh, I think Carlos has a great upside. I think he's got a high ceiling uh, because he continues to get better and, um, and he knows what he is. Looking ahead, you now have your home opener. You know, I don't never really want to say that out loud <laughs> because it's 2020, but right. supposed to against Dallas Christian College. What do you know about them going into this matchup? Well, you know, from, from what I've seen, uh, you know, they've got, you know, a group of games under their belt. Um, you know, no matter what you do and no matter who you play in college basketball, you got to be ready to play. Um, but, you know, they're going to space it out. They're going to shoot the ball really quick. Um, you know, they're going to be a smaller team. So, you know, our big guys are going to have to go on the perimeter and, and defend them. But, uh, you know, we're looking forward to just playing somebody different and somebody else. Um, and hopefully we can have a really good crowd. And, um, you know, this is a, a big old building. And, um, you know, we need people to come out and support us because it gets it gets big in here. And uh, But we are, Taylor. We're excited to play somebody different and uh, excited to kind of move forward in the season and look forward to Wednesday night. Okay. You good?